These are just some random old transistors that are having my um, infinite or near infinite stocks of random electronic stuff. These two are Raytheon CK718s, which are higher performance versions of the CK722, which were, these particular ones were, um, the CK718 was only really available to, um, or sold to um, um, hearing aid manufacturers that were not commercially available, really, to the uh, general public or general commercial applications. Uh, one of which, uh, this one's has a date code of 406, so I presume that is week 6 of 1954. And, um, <clears throat> by the way, if I sound funny, it's because I've got this super killer influenza bug of death that's going around. Um, there's also this, uh, a CK722, although this is a, a more recent... Um, metal can packaged variant um, not employing the glass uh, block that these uh, CK718s use uh, this one is a week 47 of 1961 there's also this is a UST722 which I presume is similar to the um, CK722 it's made by a US transistor and there's a Sylvania Electric Products 2N233. This one I presume is week um, 30 of 1963, judging by the date code on the back of it. And this is a 2N35. This is um, week 26 of 1965. There's this, which is actually a fairly rare transistor once I looked it up. Or that's something I found upon looking it up. It's a Western Electric 3N22. This particular example is a week 13 of 1957. It's a um, tetrode transistor. Um, this one, again, fairly rare because Western Electric stuff was generally not made. Um, of it, it was not really available to the uh, general public or commercial or to general commercial users. They were only really military and for telecommunications equipment that Western Electric also made. As a pair of Raytheon transistors um, dated 1961, one of RAY035 and an RAY014. Um, week 26 of 1961 and week 21 of 1961. And there's these which are General Electric 2M107s, those are um, PNP germanium transistors, as are these 2M404s, but these ones have a much higher gain. These uh, 2M107s uh, typically measure between about 45 and uh, 65 or thereabouts. These, um, not counting the diode obviously, um, these typically have gains of about 150 or thereabouts, at least. There's this, it's a, um, G, I don't know if that's general, if that's general, or don't know if that's general instruments, uh, A, 0201, it's probably, uh, week 32 of either 1962 or 1972. And there's this, um, another general electric transistor from, uh, week 17 of 1961, did, uh, 014. Don't really have a recognizable part number. I think this is a also a, a PNP transistor, so it's probably germanium. Just, um, but there's a code stamped into it: uh, 4G, 1C, and D. The other uh, metal can transistors also have that, and that information can be provided on request. Just say so in the comments if you want to know what they are, and you might be able to date them from that. This is a General Electric 2M123. Um, I'm guessing. Uh, week 13 of 1957 and there's another one um, come on fo focus thank you uh, week 30 of 1956 I'm guessing and this one it's um, uh, as far as I can tell it's a silicon rectifier diode 
made by International Rectifier, part number 2E4. What's really noteworthy about this is the somewhat unusual packaging style. It's a metal disc with a lead welded onto it. And there's another lead coming out the top of it and a um, epoxy blob. So, somewhat unusual.